okay so today what we are going to build is a questionnaire using all the little things we've learned we are going to use that to build questionnaire for our people now before that we are going to use strength to get the various lines then integer to get the number any number we will ask then we start with our questionnaire program so i've declared three spaces one two first one two three four memory spaces then then again i've declared an end this end i'm going to use to take the first age i'm going to use to take the person's age then after that i'm starting my program so i'm saying welcome to tom's questionnaire welcome to tom's questionnaire so i can go ahead and design so So let me see. Okay. Please be typing. Be 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 also <clears throat> typing along. Okay. Then I start. I can start. See out. What's your name? Then. I get my line, get line to bracket C and comma. Then I bring card A, I'll store it in card A, then I terminate it. Very nice. Then I go again, C out. C out. Um, what else? What's your favorite color? And I'll take it. Then let me use the get this get line. But I'll just change the space. So I'll say get line card B. And I'll go again. So I'll ask, what's your, what's your hometown, or where do you live? Where do you live? Then I'll store it in card C. I have one more extra. I see. And I'll see again. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? And I'll store it in card D. Okay, so my cards are exhausted. If I want more, I can declare more, but it's okay for me. So, in fact, I can also ask, what's your... Um, what's your age? But take note, with the age, we are not going to get the line. So, we because we use int. So we are saying C in Ouch. 
Yes, so we start it in end. So far, who has any question with this? Okay. Now let's start with our response. So maybe we can say in between here are your response our responses. Here are your responses, then we will start. See out. Your name is, then you will bring. The name, we stored it in card A. So it will be like your name is card A. Then ENDL, we terminate it. We can use the same. The name is card A. We can use the same for all. Then we can see your favorite color is your favorite color is card B. Was we stored it in card B. Then we can what next? We can use you live at you live at or you stay at you stay at you stored it in card C. Okay, then the next one. Your favorite food is Favorite food is we stored it in card D. Okay, then we can add last one. You are you are A or A. Yes, old. Okay. So here are our responses. Here, our way we are taking our um, turns. Then maybe we can add a last one. Thank you. So we can see. Thanks for your time. Okay. Please, who hasn't gotten here? Who is facing a challenge up to this point? Which is very simple. Very simple questionnaire. You can build as many questions as you want. Very simple questionnaire. Up to this point, who is confused? You are confused at up to this point kindly draw my attention and i'll go over right if no one is confused hallelujah let's run our code so run yours wherever you are run yours so yes man replace it okay I work to the people. Oh, so I have um, um, an error. So you can see here, I didn't bring the L, then I didn't terminate it. So I've corrected it and go over again. Okay. Mine has finished successfully running, but it unfortunately you can't see my pop up black screen. If you are running at where you are, you should see your results asking you what's your name. So I'm typing what's my name. 
then let me try and see if I can share this okay okay so you can see my screen he said welcome to tomorrow's questionnaire what's your name he said Tom said what's your favorite color I said blue say where do you live you say Accra what's your favorite food then maybe I'll say jollof then what's your age maybe I'll say 19 so you see here are your, your responses your name is Tom your favorite color is blue you stay at Accra your favorite food is jollof you are 19 years old thanks for your time a very simple question there who couldn't get this any anyone very simple and snappy question there anyone I hope everyone has been able to run this program on his or her, her end. It's a very simple program and you should be able to. We have seven minutes to end the class. Anyone? Anyone? If there are no questions, write this a question down you are going to do it please hope you know tomorrow we have a coding class that's for bootstrap we will be adding that class to our HTML and CSS tomorrow in the evening we have a coding class for bootstrap it's a new programming language okay then take this assignment in fact build a questionnaire with 20 questions ask any question you want so right now you know how to take numbers, you know how to take letters. Build questionnaire of 20 questions and present it to me. Please make it neat as I've done mine. You can see on my screen. Very neat. You 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 will try and separate it. Make everything on point. Very neat. And present it to me. Those you know on whatsapp those not on slack dm me and submit it to me those on slack to dm me and submit it there for me i'll cross check and see whatever mistake you've done please do well to do it it's how it will help you to understand our next target in our next target we are going to print this resource to a file it won't be shown here after after inputting this we will go and open that file and everything is in it that will be our next move i want you to grasp this content so go and build a questionnaire of 20 questions at least so we can build 20 and more but at least 20 questions make it very neat welcome to tomorrow's questionnaire what's your name what's your favorite color where do you live What's your favorite food? What's your age? Then here are your responses. Your name is Tom. Your favorite color is blue. You stay at Accra. Your favorite food is Jollof. You are 19 years old. Thanks for your time. Very simple. Very simple. Any question? Immediately after this, I'm going to upload. Sorry. Christopher. Yeah, yeah, my question is not really um, in line with what we just did, but I think it's also a programming language. Okay. Yeah, you from the beginning of our class, you made us understand that if you are able to move fast with um, the CSS and the C++, you would introduce us to um, uh, Python if there is time. And then I learned there's an extension, extension. So I will likely to go through that yeah. one. Yes, the last time, oh, I think then the last time you didn't join our last class. Our last class, I told you, since there has been an extension to January, so we'll be learning more programming languages. So the okay. likelihood for Python to be involved is very high. Yes, so okay. we'll learn Python too, yes. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. So very simple program, go and do it in. Yes, React and Python. Yes, I said it. Very simple. So please go and work with this thing. Try to add more things to it. You can please don't just do what I've done. Add more things to it. That's that that's the process of learning. Add more complex things to your code. This I'm just teaching you the basic. Just add more. So you can even integrate this to your um, let me see your your your, your is it there? uh receive something where generate a receipt multiplication of something just add more to it and present it to me on our next meeting we are going to print all these results to a file but if you don't understand this we can't do that so please go ahead and practice it then next we we'll just move on thank you very much for joining this class so i have a question how is going to use the if and then else command to do this one the input uh, letters how do you do what use the if command oh the if command yes the if command you can only use the if command if you have some specific let me say keyword you want the person to type you get it so that the you use the if command if you want a person to type one or two so you see in our program we said type one two to, three or two to terminate you get it so, so here you can use the if command if the person types if you tell the person type an age 18 or 19 so do you get it so you use if command when you want the person to type some specific keywords do you get it? So you can also use the if command if you want someone to play. Do you understand it, Maxwell? Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay, so please go and practice this simple coding and get grasp the, the, the contest. Do well to join tomorrow's class. It's a new programming language, Bootstrap. We will learn tomorrow. Thank you.